start to my toes And I can go my nose Wherever it goes I always know Did you make me smile? Hi. I'm a locksmith with 30 years experience in the field and this is a regular occurrence for us where we have a security door with no keys. Not too hard a problem to get done, you need to have access to both sides of the door so if you're trying to break in using this method it's not going to work. It can be any one of a numerous different types of brands, this one is a Tasman Mark III the Tasman Mark II also operates the exact same way and it makes no difference if it's triple lock or single lock. These are the tools that we'll be requiring for our task today. A pair of shifting spanners as we call them here in Australia. Phillips head screwdriver. These are useful but not 100% necessary. And obviously we need replacement key cylinders. With this we actually destroy the key cylinder. Now they come in two types. One is the stronger 5-pin C4 type, which is a tad longer. The other one is the shorter wafer type, where the keyway wears out a lot quicker. It's probably a tad cheaper. Still does the same thing. Uh, in terms of use and longevity, always the better product to get. Always stronger and can be keyed up to the other features in your house. Cordless drill with a Phillips head to suit. Now, we'll launch into the video. So, again, as I was saying, we do need to have access to both sides of the door. Do pardon the uh, background noise there. And we need the door to think that it's closed. Now, to do that for a lot of brands, and we're just going to pop this one open and explain what's going on. So if our door is open, like that, we need to get our key cylinder out. To achieve that, we undo our retainer screw, and that's all we needed for that. Now, where everyone goes wrong here is they can't get this cylinder out because that just moves back and forth. What's happening is, in the unlocked position we have a cylinder like that where it won't slide back and forth uh, now the cam is always facing towards the edge of the door here so that is the exact position that that's in there now and we cannot get that out unless we can turn that key move that to there and then this will slide out now being that we have no keys we cannot do that in the locked position, however, it is up like that. But if the door is closed and locked, we can't get their retainer screw out, so we're caught. We're going to show you today both ways of dealing with this. Firstly, when the door is open, however, we have no keys. So we're taking out the retainer screw here. We then need the door to think that it's closed. So we hit the secondary latch here. That comes out the whole way. If that doesn't come out the whole way, we cannot turn that cam, it won't let us. So, now that that's out the whole way, we can turn that cam, but we have no keys to do it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the screws from both sides here. Now, some locks have one screw on this side and one on the inside. With this particular type, both screws are on the inside. So we're just going to pop those off. At this stage now we pop our handles off. And we're left again with a key cylinder that won't move. Now there's a few different schools of thought with how to achieve this. You can get something in up underneath and try and flick it around. I have found the easiest way. Now that the door thinks that it's closed and we're pushing on that is we get one of each of these on each side like that and like that and this is what we do that then doesn't damage the lock itself but it does break the cylinder off on both sides 
What we are left with though is a cam still sitting in there and we can see that in there but it's still pointed down. So we then grab a flat blade screwdriver and again because this is out the door thinks it's closed so we can't achieve that and now we twist that and pop it out. Again that cannot turn unless that bolt is out the whole way. Nice and simple. And we're going to put another cylinder in. Again, there's our key cylinder. The cam always faces towards the edge of the door where your secondary and your primary bolt are. So we're going to put it up to its neutral position, put it in, and then refit. We put our retainer screw in. Make sure it's all doing what it should be. And you can hear that nice positive click. That's the secondary bolts on the triple lock shooting in and out. And then we can simply put our handles back on again. From that position, simply a case of we can test it. Locked. And then when we go to close our door locked and unlocked again. We've got two screws that hold the handle on. Sometimes there's one on the other side as well. So either way, again, this is no good for breaking in. This is only if you're lawfully required to be on the premises. We undo both of those. It will get a tad messy as you pop the handle off because most of the time that will then fall off. We will just push it through so it doesn't get in our road. Pushing through, and there we are. So again, we have our locked lock, but we can't do anything with it. So we can use what we call vice grips or a shifting spanner. Okay. So, we've snapped that cylinder off, however the lock still is not unlocked. We now need to fill this lock into thinking that it's unlocked. So, much the same as in the locked position, our cam is straight up and down. We need it to be in the unlocked position to open the door and remove the parts. So, that's our unlocked position. Our cam, as we can see in there, is straight up and down. So we're going to get some tools, simply put them in there. And we wish to twist this cam around. Until we hear that nice positive clunk, the cam moves and then we can simulate there being a shaft in here that will open the door and we have it. Now, we do need to get that cam out of there now. So again, we're going to simulate that the door is shut by hitting our secondary. Again, we can't do anything. Whilst that's in, it needs to be out. To do that, we hit our secondary latch. We now then turn this cam back up again and remove it so that we can put another cylinder in. Again, always with the cam that swings towards the edge of your door. We then put 
our cylinder in and just check it. Like a child. 